Good day everyone, Kobinamu here with you once again. As always, please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content. I'll have more coming your way very soon. Uh, but today I'd like to focus once again on the TTM squeeze indicator and introduce you to one of my favorite ways to trade the indicator that I hadn't found in any literature that I hadn't seen on YouTube. And so I really do hope you enjoy this content. It's benefited me and quite frankly, the TTM squeeze indicator is phenomenal and is one of my favorite tools. If you want an introduction to uh, the TTM squeeze indicator and what all the elements of the indicator mean, the red bars, the yellow bars, uh, the light blue and the dark blue bars here, uh, please go to my previous video. Um, I've included the link at the corner of this video uh, and I detail each of the elements of the indicator just for your knowledge. But in this video, I'd like to focus in particular on uh, a method I really like to use for trading the squeeze that I hadn't seen um, on YouTube, that I hadn't read about, uh, but, but it made sense to me just per my own observation. Uh, and I ran tests with hundreds of trades and I've been very satisfied. So here we have a chart for REAL, the real real. It's a tech company that facilitates the sale of designer goods on consignment. Pretty cool business model. But anyway, focusing on what's important. Here's the chart. So how TTM, how the TTM squeeze is commonly traded is uh, traders will identify when the stock is at a period of consolidation. Uh, that's highlighted by the red part of this bar here, here period of consolidation, meaning that the stock price isn't showing any significant movement. And as you can see here, uh, it is it is relatively flat during this period. They'll identify that point and then ride the stock. They'll identify that point, buy it, and then ride it up and maybe sell when the positive momentum slows or they or they may just hold it indefinitely. But in looking at charts, a couple hundred charts with the TTM squeeze indicator, what I saw was that there's a lot of positive price movement here in this yellow part where the price exhibits negative momentum, but decreasingly negative momentum. So as you can see by looking up the cor corresponding chart, there's some increase here increase here, again, that yellow period, increase here, the yellow period. So what I wanted to do was come up with a scan that would help me identify all of the stocks <clears throat> that have currently reached this point, that have just reached this point. So have reached the inflection point where the red becomes yellow, and increasingly negative momentum shifts to decreasingly negative momentum. Buy at that point and then ride it up up until the positive momentum starts to slow. So ride this yellow up till it turns light blue and then sell as soon, it become, as, soon as it becomes dark blue. So in this video, what I'd like to do is show you how to create a scan to identify all the stocks in the universe that have just reached this point, that have just reached this yellow point. So you can buy and then we'll come up with a sell order to automatically sell the stock once it reaches this dark blue point after riding the yellow and light blue. So in order to create the scan, click on scan and think or swim. We can delete some of these and then we'll add our own uh, filters focused specifically on the TTM squeeze indicator. So in order to identify that inflection point, we want the TTM squeeze value of today to be greater than yesterday's, but we want yesterday's to be less than two days ago. So let me just click on the chart just to give you a sense of what I mean. So the TTM value here 
we want this point here, right, where yellow, where red is shifted to yellow. So we want a value that's greater than yesterday's, but we want yesterday's to be less than the day before, than two days ago. That'll tell us that we've hit this inflection point. So in order to add our filters, click Add Filter, Study, Custom, Edit. So the first filter we want to add is uh, the, the filter that will indicate that we're at that inflection point. So we want the TTM squeeze value of today to be greater than that of yesterday, but we also want that of two days ago to be greater than that of yesterday. Again, to show us that we're at that inflection point where uh, increasing negative momentum has shifted to decreasing negative momentum. The red bars have shifted to yellow, have become yellow bars. So TTM squeeze we want TTM squeeze value of today offset zero represents today to be greater than that of yesterday so study TTM squeeze one offset one means yesterday save that Say OK. Add another filter. Edit. So now we want to indicate that the TTM squeeze value of two days ago is also greater than that of yesterday. So study TTM squeeze offset two, that means two days ago, is greater than study TTM squeeze offset one. Say okay. So with this next condition, we want our scan to pull only stocks that are in periods of explosive price movement. So are in these green periods, not the red periods. So add filter, study, click this pen to edit. So in order for our scan to only pull stocks that are currently in the green portion of the TTM squeeze indicator, click study, TTM squeeze. Here we want to select squeeze alert and we want to say is not equal to value zero. And then the last indicator is not a TTM squeeze indicator, uh, it's a moving average indicator. We want to filter for stocks that have been performing well uh, in the near term, even though they would have come off a recent period of negative momentum and would have had a bit of a price drop. We want stocks that overall have been performing well. So add filter, study, click the pen again to edit the study. So we want stocks with 50-day moving averages greater than their 200-day moving averages. So study again, moving average. So we'll go with the exponential moving average. 50 is greater than study. Two hundred. Okay, now we can run our scan. All right. So we pulled up a lot 
actually what I'll do and I like to do this for all of my scans is I'll exclude over-the-counter stocks so if you're not familiar with over-the-counter OTC stocks uh, you're required to pay a commission on each trade for OTC stocks um, and so obviously that affects your profitability if you're trading often so I like to avoid them altogether and remove them from my scans so exclude category all OTC stocks and then I'll run this scan again okay and actually there was one last filter that I forgot to add but it's a very important filter uh, so in order to ensure that we're only getting stocks with TTM squeezes in the red and yellow zones particularly in the yellow zone because that's what we're filtering for we need the TTM squeeze value to be less than zero so go back to my scan add filter again study custom edit study TTM squeeze is less than value zero so that will ensure our scan doesn't pull up any stocks that are currently in the period of blue bars or positive momentum run the scan again okay now let's pick a stock to purchase and then we will set up the trigger for the automated sell order as well so we can do this one AAL American Airlines chart AAL okay so in order to buy and set up the sell trigger and as you can see it's TTM squeeze value within the yellow region its values were so low you can barely see that uh, there was an inflection point but there was if you focus your eyes here on the TTM value while I scan over here from negative 24 to negative 21 after being negative 22 two days prior so negative 22 negative 24 negative 21 inflection point all right so in order to purchase right click say buy custom buy OCO brackets so let's just make this one stock and then when it does sell we want it to sell a hundred percent of the stocks that we buy so click that so the percentage sign comes up and this will be for the stop loss so click that so the percentage sign comes up as well and for the buy condition uh, we don't need any conditions obviously because we already scanned according to our desired conditions so we need to set up the sell condition so click this gear icon here in the sell condition So some of the price rules, uh, we want our purchases to sell at market price just to make sure they fail quickly. Time and force GTC, if it had been day, uh, the conditions we set would only be good till the end of the trading day and then they would effectively be deleted. So we want to make sure they're good till canceled. And then here we set up the conditions so the symbol once you click symbol it will bring AAL automatically method we want to click study edit edit again and again we want to sell at the inflection point where light blue becomes dark blue 
and we want to sell at that period of high price movement, of extreme price movement, not a period of consolidation. So in order to ensure that we are not in a period of consolidation, click study, TTM squeeze is true. That means it is in a squeeze, meaning it's in a period of high price movement. Add another condition. So again, to indicate that we're at that inflection period, we want the TTM squeeze value for today to be less than that of yesterday. So study TTM squeeze of zero, that offset zero means today, is less than study TTM squeeze of yesterday, that's offset one. And we want the TTM squeeze value of two days ago to also be less than that of yesterday. So study TTM squeeze two is less than study TTM squeeze one. All right. And to make sure that it sells, and to make sure that it sells only during periods where the TTM squeeze value is positive, again, when the bars are blue, add condition, study TTM squeeze is greater than zero, value zero. Great, so we can now save our study. And now for the stop loss, we want our stop loss to also be good till canceled. So hit GTC here, click here, and we want it to be triggered at a percentage. So that's my preference. Um, I like to set my stop losses at 5%. So if, if the price of our purchase falls by more than 5%, it will sell automatically and we can recoup that cash and invest it into another trade. So confirm and send. And your trade is set up. So it's after market where I am, it's after hours. Um, and so this trade would be affected tomorrow, but everything is good to go. As always, I hope this content will be as useful to you as it's been to me. When I discovered the CTM squeeze indicator, it quickly became one of my all time favorites. Um, and so I hope you're able to reap the benefits from it that I have. Take care and see you next time.